Okay, this is the Alpina, or this model is actually the Alco uh, chainsaw. Cracking little saw. Um, it's got a problem. It ran all right, except if you left it overnight, it'll get oil in the cylinder, and then smoke will be difficult to start or wouldn't start at all. So I've stripped it apart. If you take it apart, once you've took the bar and the chain off, just as you open it, you take the screws out the cover. Just make sure you hold the switch gear in place with a couple of tie wraps so it's just stuck on one side. Right, so all we've done is took the oil tank out, which was here. Now the problem is, I think, that's how the oil tank fits in, it goes through there and then there's a little valve here that goes on the trigger and it works, it opens it but I think the problem is that it's pressurised from the crankcase through here now the little valve that sits on there has disappeared and all we're left with is a bit of pipe so I think it was just a you know, a duck bill type valve that just let the air out of the crankcase and filled the oil tank up and when you press the trigger it gave it a bit of extra to push it through to the bar um, but with it being missing, that sits in the bottom of the oil tank or fairly high up it should, just out the oil probably best uh, through the bottom there, it just pushes on but it was, it was draining back through there so if you've got oil in the oil tank for the chain bar it drained back, went into the cylinder and it was difficult to start, if you left it overnight it was probably impossible to start because it just oiled up the plug uh, and then it wouldn't start obviously so you could fix it by just draining the oil tank leaving the oil out of it, cap back on and just doing it manually, you know, lubricating the bar with a, um, and the chain with the oil can uh, just going round it when you needed it, um, that would have fixed it as soon as you dried the plug out and the oil wasn't going through anymore um, but I thought I'd try and make a little valve to go on the back of here so what I'm going to do is make something up and then uh, push it back into the oil tank, put the tank back on connect the mechanism up on the trigger which is just that little rod there if you can see it um, and then we'll see how we go, we'll put it all back together so, you know, while it's apart, it's worth just checking everything's working, the coil's okay, you know, it's clean here, the pickup, it's not touching, which this one actually feels like it is a bit so you can adjust it here, you know, it'll come back a bit make sure your lead's okay while you're here, you know, it's got a heat proof cover on it um, and then the other thing you could do is just check your your pull cords good and spring you might want to put a bit of lubrication on the spring probably best not to take it all apart but um, you can get a bit of WD or something down there on the back of it just make sure your rope's good if it's not there's no need to take the pulley off to do it to fix it you, you know you can push the rope through connect it up um, um, and then you might just wind it on actually you may have to on this one yeah you've just got to you have just got to take that off because you've got to get the knot on the other end of there um, you know on the end of the pulley so um, that's just got to come off but just check your ropes good before you put it all back together again because it is a bit of a job you know to line up with these rubber mounts and particularly this one's a difficult one to line up and make sure it's lined up in the case on, on here it's got to line up on that one as it goes on um, and obviously the same down with this one they have got flats on to go in here so don't don't uh, don't push force them on then obviously the switch just goes through the cover and onto here so they're a brilliant saw and to be honest I've got a still down here somewhere that's a still 170 or one 070 or 117 they're all pretty much the same 
um, slightly different uh, crank pans and things and coils but I'd use the Alpina as against that one any day you know I mean and that's been totally rebuilt but it sits down here um, and it's just more awkward to use you know it's uh, it's just it's just not so comfortable to use as the Alpina well you know Alpina make them the Italian they make good engines and it's a good saw it's slightly at the top of the handle so it's not right back it's not for forcing through wood um, but they make them for champion and like this one they make them for Alco um, and probably many more but they are they are a nice little saw and um, I think I've got another one down here that is this one is um, this one is an Alpina I think this one <coughs> but that's a cracking saw that's brilliant you know and it it does a good job I think that's a 16 16 inch bar on that one this one's a bit shorter I think this is 14 on here so, but it handles the 16 inch bar fine um, you know it's horses for courses obviously there's big saws down here like the big 90cc partner which will go through anything and bring your house down that well um, and then these are partner really underrated saws this partner here which is a 450 which is 50, uh, 50cc is a brilliant saw absolutely brilliant um, and probably the main one I'd take out it's in between, it's light, it's easy to start and um, partner I think um, make, made, made or make Husqvarna um, and of course they make uh, these as well which are the K650 which are the disc cutters and they, make, they made this uh, S65 and they made an S55 partner which is along the same lines as the 650 but uh, it's a heavy saw, like that's a heavy disc cutter um, and these, you know, if you get a chance to pick one of these up and it's a good runner every time I'd pick one of those up they do a lot of different models 450s, 500s, ETs, etc, you know um, but great saw anyway, back to this so I'll have a go at making a little valve all it is, a duct, valve, a duct valve, is is just you know, it's a bit of it, so I see what draw one out and oh, there's a bit of paper here look and get me pen all, all we need is a is a valve that's something to go on the end that fits that uh, pipe which is you know that little bit of metal in the end so all we've got to do is have a valve that's like this Okay, so there's a drill hole down the middle to take that tube that goes into the other piece of pipe. Okay, that's the pipe back to the engine. All we need is a, a drill hole down there to fit that tight fit, and then a piece of just a, a piece of rubber we need for this. That's all. A slit down there. Leave a bit of strength on this to make the duct bill so it's it'll open. You might have to experiment a bit. It'll open, but it will stay closed. So you know when the the pressure comes through from the engine it'll open that and push it into the oil tank but hopefully the oil won't drain back down it because it'll, it'll close itself up so that's the idea if we can do that we can fix this which would be great so I'll get back to you when I've done it Okay, we've started, so I've got a block of rubber here. Um, I've just drilled a small hole, which is about the size of the um, pipe, just a bit smaller, so I'll force that in there, give us something to play with. Um, and then I'm just going to chop this off. I've only drilled it in so far, it's only about up to here. So the rest of it will be out the back there, so I'm going to chop that off. I'm just going to cut down before I do towards the pipe and then when I've chopped that off I'm going to grind the shape on there just with the grindstone just uh, over the just chop the rubber off with it so that's the plan we'll see how it goes
Okay, so I messed about with a block of rubber and made a couple of duck bills, but the last one I made was working. You've got to get it really thin, I found, and then I'd put that in there in the back, but I went too far, I went through it through to the hole, unfortunately. So, But it was working, so I mean, that would work, you know, with this tube in the back, but then I th suddenly thought, well, is there an easier way? So, yeah, a bit of rubber tube. I think you know it's a inch and a three quarters two inches long just got the connector in the end there for the oil tank pipe from the crankcase um, just a screw in the end to block it off and a slit just a short slit along there about a quarter of an inch and hopefully that will let the gases out isn't it into the oil tank um, and pressurise it and not let the oil back so as long as I sit it up nice and high in the tank um, hopefully that will be alright well we'll give it a go anyway I think that's probably the best way another way would be these which are of partner K650s they're just a one way petrol valve and I think probably if you sat that in the oil tank um, that would work as well it's obviously petrol and oil resistant so I mean that could sit in there and you know as a one-way valve um, and that probably go you know straight onto there just get it into the oil tank from the top so you probably have to extend the tube a bit um, but that, I think that would probably work but we're going to go with this one for now and see if it see if it works so yeah just a bit of rubber tube and slit in it and the end blocked off we'll try that see how it goes Okay, you managed to get it all back together again. It's a hell of a fiddly job. You know, just to get that oil pipe in there, that does come out, but to get it up into there, force it through the bottom is tricky then. You know, to get this one on that goes back to the valve, the adjustment valve, is really difficult, but you can do it. That goes behind there, I think. And it's up in here in the tank, you see it's quite high, which is a good thing. Um, so I'll just might push that down a bit, but then it'll be up at the top of the tank, and hopefully that will do it. So carefully put it back together again. Make sure to get all these lined up because these obviously go in here, like we said. Make sure the trigger's all in right before we put it together, and then give it a go. Once we've got it back together, it's going to take a while, but it's worth it, I think. It's lovely so far. Okay. Well, we managed to get it all back together again. Um, it's been standing in this tray overnight, so there's no leaks. I'm going to give it a go in a minute, start it up, see how it works. I did do the pull start because the cord was damaged, so um, while it was off, I thought it was a good idea to change it, so I stuck a new cord on it. Um, it's a bit of a devil though. If you, if you do take the pulley out, make sure you hold the plastic cover onto the spring. I didn't with a screwdriver or something before you take the pulley out with the rope on because if that spring comes out it's a devil to get back in. The only way I could do it was with this. It's just a bit of wood with a hole drilled in it for the um, spring end to go in. Wrap it round. The Jubilee clip holds the bottom side of the spring where you're wrapping it. When you've done it, you want a bit of wood that you can screw on there, well, while you're doing it, that holds the top of the spring just across. Um, then once you've got it together, you've room to get a few tie wraps. Well, I found four tie wraps around the spring just to hold it together before you release it off here. And then carefully put it into its housing in there. And while it was in there before I put this um, plastic cover back on just a bit of wood to press over and a, a rubber piece of hose just to hold it on there while you before you put it all back together and then once you put the pulley in you can take that off and put the pulley in carefully 
um, and then wind it as necessary to get the tension on it um, but it was a bit difficult so if you can help it don't let the spring go in here anyway we'll go and uh, give it a test in a minute Okay, the saw's cold, we're going to warm it up, see if it smokes, see if it works. Got a 5 inch piece of oak and a 9 inch piece of oak, see how it goes on that. Seems pretty good. No smoking, oil in, and cutting good. It could do with a bit of a sharpen, but not bad. So, the long and short is I think we fixed it. There's the little valve, on, well, a little piece of rubber on the top of the uh, oil tank inside. It's just the screw on the end of the tube. Seems to be working all right. I know it's old engine oil in there just to flush it through, but there's oil on the chain. It seems good. It's coming through down here. Um, seems to be working well. Great. Another sort of saved. Okay, that's that.